Okay, so I've got my phone shaking and mounted to the telescope. And you turn off the flash. And um, I'm using a 15 millimeter lens on a 102 millimeter refractor. And you can you see the moon drift um, as I'm filming this. Um, I have the phone cell phone attachment. Um, I'll put a, a link below in the description if you want to buy one for yourself. Um, they're real fidgety and um, kind of hard to use sometimes, but um, as you can see right now, um, it seems to be working quite well. You can see the moon is moving quite rapidly, and it's about, oh, say, 7.30 p.m. in Arizona. So now um, what I'll do is I'll... I'll wait for it to move a little bit more and then I'll readjust my fine adjustments on here and then bring it back into focus. You can see that it's um, trying to do something. So it's amazing that it will actually pick it up pretty good. This is a Samsung Galaxy S23. Um, so, yeah, it's a uh, moon is. I don't know, three quarters of the way full. You can see a little bit of chromatic abrasion in this telescope. This is the 102 inch, it's called a 102 GT, and it would normally come on a go to mount, but I bought it um, from somebody else without any kind of mount. And so I've got it on the one that I posted a video of earlier, the uh, CG3 Celestron mount. That comes with the Astro Master 130, and it's a terrible mount, but I can modify it to be alt azimuth and get uh, a little more control of uh, things, and then I can mount everything I have with a dovetail. I think they call that a Vixen mount. I'm not really sure, but um, I'd like to be able to do this with my Orion six inch Dobsonian and um, see how it does. Let me see if I can adjust the focuser. Let's see if we get what it will do. You can see the uh, camera is compensating a little bit. So we'll come back into focus a little bit. And out, back in. So that's pretty much our sharpest resolution right there. But um, this is uh, interesting, as I never tried this before, but I think the best time to film the moon or take pictures of the moon is during the daytime or, you know, dusk. So, um, right now, if it wasn't, it would be so bright in here, you know. The uh, camera can compensate for it, but it ends up being quite difficult to get it. Because every time you take a new picture you have to adjust the brightness so you can really see the craters on here um, and you know if I was to put a different lens in here I wouldn't even be able to capture the image because it would just fill up too much of the lens so this is about the limits of what I can do with the 15 millimeter lens and 102 inch aperture so anyway um, if you have any questions or comments comment down below and uh, don't forget to share this video with your friends and get people to subscribe and help me get my channel going. Thanks for watching.